This is Nico. Today I will show you a video how to make smart sighting by a Nova control system. Uh, we take P4 modules as an example. The model size is uh, 320 by 160. So first step, we log in as usual. And then we go to the screen configuration. Then next, for a smart sighting, it is very important if we lost the RCFG file. This is a, this is a good way to make a new file by our own site. So when we get in the page screen configuration, we go to a receiving card and start smart sighting. Then next step. Here, it is very important to find the right module chips. This means uh, driver IC on the modules. You could find it on the back of the module. Uh, our P4, we use um, 2153. It is very important. If we input the wrong IC mode, the modules will not be working correctly. And here, the module resolution 80 by 40 P4 with size 320 by 160. And then we go next step. Here you could find the IC information from the, from the modules on the back side. Now we have already started the smart sighting. Normally, you will see something on the first module connect to the receiving card. You check the you check the module. If it is full black, full black, then we click full black. If it is display, then we click display. But normally, it is full black in this step. So we go next. Here is the color sighting. Uh, we could choose automatic switching and manual switching. So this is the this is the colors on the modules. You could see red. Then we check red. If it is green, then we check green. But the regular order of the of the shining on the modules will be in like this way. If not, you could change. Also, you could uh, click manual change. When you click one. It is green, then we show green. It is the number two. If it is red, then we go red. So we go back red, green, blue, and then next. Uh, now you could see something on the modules, the lighted rows or clones on the module. It is, um, it is half of the modules. This one we have uh, 40 lines on the module, but the light one, the lighted one will be 20. It is half of the half of the height. Lighted rows on the modules. This is about the scanning. Uh, for the P4, we have one by 10 scanning. So in 20 mode, in 20 lines, there will be two lines shining, lighted. So we go next. So this part is very important. Now we could find the first shining pixels. For this P4, normally we start from here, the first shining dots, and then we go here to the right end. Okay, and then there should be a dot lights shining here and then we go end of the lines the shining way of the leds is different from a different factory so this step it is more important to check which pixels is shining on the modules then we click then we click here Different factory, they have different design on the PCBs and they have different shining way. 
and then we go here now we complete join running line table and then okay so this step is more important to check how the shining dots happen on the modules so we just follow the shining dots and then make the make the make the join we go next so completely smart sliding successfully complete <clears throat> this is a uh, important thing is that you need to have the right information of the driver IC, scanning tab, and the module size. This is very important. So we go back here to make the good RF, RCFG fail. Normally, this number we don't change, we only change here GCLK frequency. The numbers bigger the refresh rate is higher but this one we normally make the refresh rate to be uh, 1920 or 3840 so we could we could try different way we could try different way find the find the find the good number here then send to receiving card uh, after we make these uh, fails after we make this step the single modules will be working correctly but not working as a um, cabinet so here we need to change the change the resolution the cabinet resolution now we make one receiving card connect to a uh, two by six pieces modules so here's number gonna be 160 and here 240 and then we send to receiving card after this step the receiving cards area they will show a full cabinet not single modules and then we go back to screen connection sending card put out, output output from the sending card put one and here is the resolution of the cabinet then we click and send to hardware after this step you will see one single cabinet working hope this video will be helpful thank you